Today we're going to secure the outside stuff and put everything up and get ready for a weather change because it's kind of sprinkling right now and that's not even in the forecast. But they are saying that tomorrow the winds will come through and the wind guster is predicted to be up to 35 miles an hour. I've actually seen wind gust up to 55, 50, 55 miles an hour here in the desert and when that happens nothing outside is safe. So I'm going to show you what I do to secure my outdoor items to get ready for either rain, storms, or wind. I leave my dog mats out because they're weatherproof, but I do secure them with pretty good stakes. Uh, these remind me of old railroad stakes. They're not. I get them at Home Depot and they have washers on them to keep them from going through the mats. This gives me a chance of keeping my mats and I need to keep them down for Nani when she jumps out so that she doesn't land on rocks but uh, it's not a guarantee we'll see what happens after it rains and I mean after the winds come let's see So those are staked down, and for my other rug, I don't want to put holes in it. So I actually put it underneath my van, and I put it first. And then I put my chairs on top of it. kind of keeps them dry if it does rain bad but it's not predicted to but this is what I do even for rains and then I have left my table and my solar panel and I'm gonna put them in the back and you'll see how I quickly secure them okay so now I'm gonna put up my portable Renogy solar panel this one's a hundred watt panel you've probably seen that on the other videos but I the power comes from the van into these connectors they probably have a technical term but I just call them connectors and you pull them apart this side stays with the panel of course and will go in the suitcase this goes in the van very nice and neat And this just screws loose and I always check these to make sure that that stays at least finger tight. And I forgot to tighten the other one when I put it up there. That's why it fell down. So you tighten that, fold it together. Now I have found that these little hinges can be a booger bear if this isn't lined up just right. And so sometimes I have to hold it, flip that over. This is my only complaint about this system or this, this particular uh, suitcase type thing is these just sometimes do not want to cooperate. But there we go. So I put it in my nice little handy dandy folder, I mean suitcase, zip it up. Now this is what you have to do every time you go to move or weather comes, this thing has to go in and out. So that's why a lot of people enjoy having rooftop solar so that you don't have to do this twice a day at least if you're moving. And then it goes right back in my van, kind of heavy.
And voila, I'm ready for bad weather. We'll see you down the road. But I don't leave my solar panel out because I gotta stop him out of breath. <laughs> <laughs>